Hi, I've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Saturday, September 14th, and here the Atlantic, the big story, tropical storm Ingrid spinning away here in the Bay of Campeche, and uh, probably soon to be Hurricane Ingrid within the hour um, at the 5 p.m. advisory from the NHC. The ATCF server upgraded it to a hurricane, and usually the NHC follows if there are no significant changes in the storm structure before that time, so uh, and it's probably going to be a hurricane, and it's this makes sense given that we saw an eye pop out here. Of just briefly, you could see a little bit of a shadow and visible imagery. Um, within the CDO, the Central Dense Overcast region, and uh, the microwave pass, which is now six to seven hours old, uh, did show the partial eye wall just in its formative stages here, with nice banding coming in on the southwestern side. And uh, this uh, this has a decent core, and uh, we'll likely try to continue to formulate this eye over the next day or so, and we'll see if that pops out and we'll see how its structure develops in here. Uh, but this is likely to continue strengthening a little bit um, over the next 48 hours. Right now it's pretty stalled out. Uh, eventually we'll start following um, towards the coast um, with the steering flow and uh, notice it's pr very easy to tell where this is going to go it's never been hard because it's telling you right now look at the clouds the axis of uh, clouds extending to its northwest this is the little trough we talked about rotating around and uh, it, it's just going to follow itself here it's pointing itself in the direction where it's about to head it's going to drift north and then curve west northwest into the Mexican coastline Tampico's right here and uh, Tampico's the city that will be at most risk of getting a direct landfall here, the biggest city that could get a direct hurricane hit, and we do have a hurricane watch extending from south of Tampico to north of, and uh, the Mexican coast is about to get a hurricane, and uh, perhaps even a category two hurricane here by the time it makes it to shore. It has about 48 hours, it looks like, based on uh, the average of the model forecasts um, before this actually makes it to the coast. And uh, this is the NHC forecast track again showing uh, showing that here. Here's the 48 hour mark still offshore actually and eventually making it towards the coast. Tampico is right here. You can see the hurricane watch in pink and tropical storm warnings south of that. A, a lot of models try to try to shove this southwest to the south of Tampico still and to really try to bury it in the coast and I still think uh, right over Tampico or perhaps even a little bit north of um, is still going to be the most likely here uh, given th its trough extending to the northwest really it weakens the low level ridge in front so this has a chance to come up and just curve right into the coast near or north of Tampico right about in here but either way this is going to be a massive flooding event for most of eastern Mexico here because we have moisture coming up from tropical storm Manuel to the south of Mexico which is also going to be moving inland within 24 hours and then you have moisture from Ingrid just piling in over uh, this uh, this terrain and uh, so this is going to be a big event here both flooding and for uh, potential hurricane force conditions in the city of Tampico and surrounding areas but the NHC here um, keeps Ingrid at basically steady intensity for the next 48 hours until landfall. They keep it in an 80 mile per hour hurricane by the time it reaches the coast. And uh, their first forecast kept it at 60 miles per hour of a tropical storm before coming inland because the models uh, were apathetic about intensification of Ingrid, and they still are. And that's probably why they keep it at 80 miles per hour. As you see, the, the intensity models barely strengthen it and then tank it as it uh, moves inland. The problem with relying on this model suite here is look at the models from yesterday. <laughs> it's a, it, it's about as bad of a forecast as you can get. The models didn't have this becoming more than a 40 to 50 mile per hour tropical storm by landfall in here. And uh, this is just wrong. The valid time today is uh, double the velocity uh, that uh, the models forecasted. And so if, if you look at them today, why should you really trust a flat forecast given the f somewhat favorable environment that Ingrid has? One of the arguments that the NHC made is that wind shear is forecast to increase. And right now, if we look at the wind shear map, yes, there is some wind shear. Why? Because we have Tropical Storm Manuel here south of the Mexican coast, and this is where the point source is. The point source is over Manuel, which means all of the upper air contours are coming out of Manuel because he has good outflow over here. And so that outflow is pushing into Ingrid, and so you have a little bit of southwesterly wind shear over the storm, which is why you can see uh, that it, it, he really has no, uh, Ingrid has no outflow in the southwestern quadrant. Outflow to the north, outflow to the east, outflow to the south, but none here because Manuel is in the way. So is the upper level environment perfect? No, but is it going to get worse over the next few days? 
Well, that's also interesting because look at Manuel. He's going ashore within a day here. And so he's going to die over the mountains of Mexico. So what happens when Manuel moves inland? This point source has to shift northeast because where is all the heat now? Manuel dies, his heat dissipates, all the energy gets bundled over Ingrid. So this point source shifts closer to Ingrid and this means that it has a better upper level high ventilating the system as this upper low that's over northern Mexico continues to back away. So if anything, the upper level environment should become more favorable over the next 48 hours for Ingrid, and I don't see any reason why they shouldn't be able to gradually intensify more and have a shot at category two hurricane status before coming ashore. And uh, obviously the upper level environment is not perfect, which is why we're not seeing this explode into a major hurricane right now. That's not going to happen um, uh, most likely, uh, but as it comes here, the environment will be favorable, I think, for gradual intensification, and this could become a Category 2 before coming ashore. Either way, it's going to be a hurricane hit on Mexico, and the biggest threat will probably still be the flooding in here, um, because Mexico has the infrastructure on its coastline to be used to hurricanes and this will be a problem but the flooding inland may be a bigger problem with all the mudslides and all the mountains here catching all of this moisture from two systems at once and so the flooding could be the most deadly part of this storm uh, so uh, here's the HPC forecast showing that here all of the heavy rain showing up over northern Mexico the NHC is saying 10 to 15 inches isolated amounts to 25 over some of these regions of eastern Mexico here and the HPC forecast doesn't include most of the areas down here uh, but you can see how wet it's going to get. A little bit of moisture into southern Texas, as we talked about. Ingrid would get far enough north here, and and, uh, and he is getting far enough north to bring some moisture into Texas. But again, most of Texas staying dry, unfortunately, here. So we'll see how that develops. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.